Margaret, what are the greatest rewards that you experience in your role in Castle Mine? Um, well, working for yourself, I suppose I have, call it flexi hours. So <laughs> I come and go as I please, like, and I can plan a night out and kind of have somebody to cover for me. Then, you know, you can really take advantage of that. You know, okay. Not advantage of the people that's doing it for you, yes. but you can organize your social life a little bit better. Okay. Because I have good staff, but if you don't, I'm And you sure, worked hard, obviously, to get that. Yeah, I mean, it's like I've worked very hard, mm -hmm. you know, for a good few years, and I just think now I take a bit of advantage of mm -hmm. going and enjoying and it. Like I'm here in Dubai and heading to Australia. And, you know, I wouldn't be able to do that if I didn't have people that could have took over when I was gone for the last week. Right. And probably to, I pay myself a good salary, because I think, why not? And it was the the people that owned Casting before, one thing she said to me, she says, tell you now a bit of advice, pay yourself well. Because the difference in paying yourself less, like minus 5,000 euros a year, and paying yourself the extra, it's, it's nothing at the end of the day, like in the books. And it's your own business, so just mm. pay it. Pay it yeah. So I pay myself well. I do a good job. <laughs> and well deserving, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah. And then also, like you know, um, you have to be. You know, I'm I, I'm on call all the time. Do you mm -hmm. know what I mean? Mm -hmm. The middle of the night, if a, a resident needs your assistance, I'm on my mobile number is their emergency number. Okay. If the fire alarm goes off by mistake, which it has a few times. You have Again, you're up in the middle of the night to turn it off or certain things you're always on call, and if things go pear shaped like you're you're there. So like so the duty so manager in effect. Yeah, continuously. Yeah, continuously. Yeah, and I live on site as well. Okay. okay. So, um, do you find the rewards as was more so beneficial to you as opposed to working for someone else? Definitely. Yeah. I could never work for somebody else. Now. Okay. I don't think I maybe could work. I could help them, mm -hmm. like if I was a consultant or consultant help them, but. But to actually have to work for somebody else, I don't, I don't think I could do it. I probably could, um, but you probably was right. <laughs> <laughs> but you probably don't want to. But I probably don't want to. No. Yeah. Because I, you can have so much benefits for working for yourself, do you mm -hmm. know? And it's all, you know, you'll be What would your advice be to youngsters who are possibly watching this? I mean, obviously, you have a, a, a culinary training in effect. And yeah. now I'm running a, a front of house role in a hotel. What would your advice be to youngsters that are considering chefing as a career? Well, to start off, I suppose. Um, well, I know a lot of people that start off chefing, fifty percent end up going on to maybe front of house or a different role in the hotel. Okay. Some of them actually completely leave it, and then some people always stay in that and work. You know, but I think a good thing to do is when you're starting out is before you maybe is to go and work in an establishment and to figure out what it is you want to do like do you want to work fine dining okay do you want to work kind of coffee shop bakery kind of end of things do you want to work um like big functions buffet type food so pick which one you your kind of favor towards and maybe try and work because that's what i did i wanted to do fine dining Right. And that's everywhere that I picked. Was in your mind from the start. Everywhere I picked to work, that's where I wanted to work. Okay. Do you know? I didn't want to work in places that did a thousand covers and just spend out the food. Wasn't for me. Never for me and still I wouldn't do it. Do you know? Do you think it's important for youngsters to, or, or people in general in chefing to get experience in both spots? I think well pick pick one because you you're not going to do fine dining and and large functions at the one time. Yes. So pick the one that you it's know, best suited yeah. for you. There's just people that love the big function and the big buzz and getting 400 covers out at one time was not for me. You know. So pick somewhere that that's what you're going to learn the most from and stick with it. So when you move on to the next place, you'll bring your experiences there and you'll be able to show them what you learned and then you end up with your own place, you'll have it all built up. You know. Okay. And keep, like, everywhere I worked I kept a book of recipes. Okay. And different. I would always write ideas on the back and keep keep it all from everywhere I worked. And I would use them as I moved on myself in my own places. Like, do you think you're going to publish a book someday? Mm, could be possible. Do I get a signed autograph? <laughs> <laughs> no. Free? No. <laughs> Any final words of of wisdom, I suppose, for people entering the hospitality industry in general? <laughs> don't say don't, Margaret. <laughs> Don't. <laughs>
<laughs> no, you have to love it. Okay. You have to love it. And, you know, and unsociable hours. Except that's just the way it's going to be. No matter what section you're working, really, do you know, it's unsociable hours. And you're going to work weekends. And you're going to work bank holidays. And you're going to work the holidays. And that's you just, you know, it comes with it. And just forget about it. Because not, you're not going to work somewhere that, that doesn't happen. A slave to the trade, I say. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, thank you on behalf of YoungHomeTenure.com, and we look forward to receiving our signed recipe book in the near future. I look forward to receiving my check in the post. <laughs> <laughs> check out more on www.hotdonnygonecasamore.com. <laughs> <laughs>